The 4th century bishop, Augustine of Hippo, doesn't have a very good reputation today. He's a philosophical pessimist, a sex-hating theist, and the father of the medieval inquisition. The former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, does not deny Augustine's complicity in these so-called sins of the West, yet he feels that his critics have downplayed the most valuable aspects of Augustine's thought in their quest to overthrow Christian hegemony. On Augustine is the fruit of Rowan Williams' engagement with the writings of this great philosopher. The first essay in the collection is called Time and Self-Awareness in the Confessions. The Confessions is Augustine's autobiography, but it's not an autobiography in the modern sense of the word. Augustine is not interested in presenting a year-by-year account of his life. He focuses instead on the few events that lead to his conversion to Christianity. Written on the eve of the sack of Rome in 410, the Confessions explores the not-so-pleasant aspects of the human self. The inability to know thyself fully, to act rightly, and to love the good. Indeed, Williams highlights the many places in the Confessions when Augustine admits to his weaknesses as a rational being. He emphasizes not the things that he has learned, but how incomplete he feels as a person. Augustine's preoccupation with the authority of the church stems from this realization of the self. The church for Augustine is the space in which people come together to collectively acknowledge their weaknesses and their trust in a being who knows them better than they could ever know themselves. Of course, the assumption is that all people in the church will recognize their weakness and incompleteness, an assumption that isn't always true. Augustine is certainly guilty of abusing his authority and behaving as if he knows it all. But Rowan Williams insists that the meditations on the self in the Confessions is the context in which we should understand his late writings. So what does this mean for me, or for my Wisdom Wednesday series? Whenever I mention a religious philosopher in these Wisdom Wednesdays, I want to focus on the humanistic side of their work. The study of religion is, after all, the study of humanity. But for religious philosophers like Augustine, the self only exists because of and for God. I want to remove religion from Augustine's philosophy, but it's not a minor detail in his anthropology. The division between philosophy and theology is a very modern one. Demythologizing, so to speak, Augustine's thought is to misunderstand Augustine's thought. Try as I may, I cannot remove the divine from Augustine's philosophy without ultimately misrepresenting him. I can say that I realized in this first essay that I valued Augustine's insight on the self as never fully actualized. And that's true. I do value that. Embracing our limitations, I think, is a sign of wisdom. But that's only a part of what Augustine's trying to accomplish in his autobiography. It's not just a woe is me. It's ultimately a prayer of thanksgiving to the one who holds the secrets of the universe. Indeed, the Confessions is written in the style of a prayer. Rowan Williams' essay on Augustine's Confessions reminded me that we do an injustice to the thoughts of religious philosophers when we disregard the religious dimensions of their anthropologies. This is true for Augustine, as it is for any Christian, Muslim, or Buddhist philosopher. I worked one summer with an Asian studies professor. His wife, a Buddhist and a scholar from Japan, contrasted Buddhism as it is practiced in East Asia with what Western culture thinks is Buddhism. The spiritual and ascetic element of Buddhism is actually a part of its philosophy. It's not a minor detail. Overlooking or downplaying it, as people in the West are apt to do, is a distortion of Buddhist philosophy. It's not Buddhist philosophy. So I'm not going to demythologize religious philosophers in this series. And so this means I will need to know the religious context of non-Western slash non-Christian philosophers. Challenge accepted.